before we we proceed can you reduce the volume please from the body that uh, pastor had on his heart which he was trying to communicate to us can we ask God for help help us help our infirmities do, do something do something in our lives that will minister confidence the confidence of your presence the confidence about your power confidence about your spirit do something help me help me Lord help me father help me help me help me abesco frezima antelico patalia ziba combres gefosila ambresco valato minacadia Gemini Takompala. Send us help in Jesus' mighty name. And we give you glory and praise because of your excellent majesty. And we thank you for the mighty procession that you have ordered amidst us. And we ask that you yet grant us access into the economy of life that we might trade with the merchandise of your presence as we advance in this meeting today in Jesus mighty name Amen if you have your Bible you may wish to turn to the book of Psalms Psalms 29 Psalms 20 9 Psalms 29 from verse number 2 Psalm 29 from verse number 2 give unto the Lord the glory give unto the Lord the glory that is the glory due to his name worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness give unto the Lord the glory that is due his name worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness then he goes forth to say that the voice of the Lord is upon the waters the God of glory thunders the voice of the Lord is upon the waters hallelujah there are two things you will find if you visit any locality the first thing is the prophecy that has been spoken by God that is yet to be fulfilled that is hanging seeking implementation seeking fulfillment seeking establishment hallelujah that's the first thing you find then the second thing you find in the spiritual atmosphere of every location are causes that are seeking for implementation so the rise of a functionary will either facilitate the implementation of the causes that are hanging or the prophecies that are hanging seeking for implementation now the bible says that the voice of the lord is upon the waters and if you understand the meaning of that metaphor it is referring to people's tongues and tribes indicative of the fact that there is a an administrative prophetic word that hangs over every tribe if you are to labor in a location maybe idoma land for instance the reason for which god will send a functionary of the kingdom into idoma land is to facilitate the implementation of his ordinations that are hanging over the land 
I went to preach in Malawi and when I laid down to sleep after the first meeting I had a long eventful dream and the dream from what I saw I saw that uh, Christianity entered into the location where I was to preach entered many 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 years ago and the people there was a revival a move of God it was so intense and um, if you see their culture if you see the culture of the Umzimba, Umzimba people they are they, their culture is Christianity their culture is Christianity it, it doesn't mean they are born again I'm just saying the effect of the revival that came into their midst shaped their culture it shaped what was acceptable in the midst of of their transactions and you could see that there was a heritage here so the dream in the dream God took me back to when that revival came and the the potency of the revival and the effect of the revival and uh, he now showed me the picture of what was on ground and he said what he wanted to do was to implement the gains of that revival so I had perspective and as I began to minister in that perspective the ministration was backed up with heaven powerfully backed up by heaven because I was ministering the implementation of the prophetic words that were hanging over the people now so the Bible says that the voice of the Lord is upon many waters there is no tribe that doesn't have an utterance from heaven and if you find yourself in that locality the reason why you are there is to translate the utterance that utterance that God has spoken is the principle by which um, the powers of darkness that are rooted in the territory will be uh, dethroned and the kingdom of God will be implemented so the Bible says that the voice of the Lord is upon the waters the God of glory thunders so you see that the thundering of God if you have if you have gone to the book of Revelation to find out what the thundering of God means uh, meanwhile uh, in first Corinthians chapter 14 the Bible says uh, that if the trumpet gives an uncertain sound who can prepare himself for the battle and when Paul was uh, educating us and the subject matter was prophecy that there are many sounds in this world but none of them is without significance and by the time we go to the book of uh, Revelation you will see that seven thunders blasted and those thunders carried messages so when we are saying the God of glory thundered we are talking about the execution of the authority of God as it is implemented through the voice of God for a territory he said the voice of God is upon the waters the God of glory thunders hallelujah second second verse there quickly Psalms 29 the voice of the Lord is powerful the voice of the Lord is full of majesty this is an anatomy of the utterance of God how much megabytes how much kilobytes do you have it, it said the voice of god is powerful it it, it retains energy it, it has the capacity to bring itself to pass the voice of god doesn't need help just in case god speaks that is inherent in the utterance of god sufficient to bring what god has said to pass without your support and without your help and so the voice of God is potent the voice of God is effectual the voice of God is powerful all right so the if you want to tap into the power of God you want to function as a minister that has a ministry uh, of power then you must find a way of being able to access the voice of God because in that voice of God there is power yes help me quickly the voice of God is powerful the voice of God is full of majesty uh, the, the aspect of the voice of God being full of majesty is the capacity for the word of God to bring itself to pass if God has given you a prophecy if there's a word that came from God that has a futuristic um, capacity 
if you wait through the season of that word and see the implementation of the counsel of God you will see the majesty with which it will find fulfillment let me give you an example on the 13th of January 2003 for instance I was waiting on the Lord and praying and God spoke to me he spoke to me and said I should go back to Kano that's where I did my youth service that I should get back to the place that I finished my youth service but I've not finished the assignment that he bequeathed to me he now said when I'm done with the assignment he was going to give me a job right so I knew that God was going to give me a job but I don't know I didn't know how and uh, this was how um, for uh, the job I was given they wrote an aptitude test and uh, the people that sat for the aptitude test that passed the aptitude test that were invited for interview and unfortunately for me I did not write the aptitude test but fortunately for me my name came out on the list so I'm talking about the majesty that is in the implementation of the counsel of God that is futuristic in scope if you have seen God implement his counsel before you will know that he is a God of majesty and his voice should be hallowed because embedded in it is the possibility of the implementation of his majestic ways uh, I didn't write the aptitude test but my name came out on the list of successful people so someone that saw my name on the list was the one that now told me that ah, your name came out here on this list and from what I'm reading on this notice board you are supposed to appear for interview on so 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 day I knew it was not my name because I did not write the aptitude test however I showed up with my credential they said bring your credential so when I came there I confirmed that it was my name number 144 I'll never forget on the list hallelujah well that's what part of the mystery in the implementation of the plan of God and when God speaks even when the natural things that need to be in place are not in place um, it will still come to pass I remember two people a couple visited me in my office at home and they said this these are the test results from the um, diagonistic laboratory about our fertility capacity and I read through because I still remember a little biochemistry and microbiology and the implication of the report that I had before me was that in the husband's semen there was no sperm zero sperm the and uh, you know that is it will take the hand of God for that too so I prayed for them I said the Lord that created sometimes may not even need this result all right so I prayed for them and they went and two months later the lady was pregnant I told the husband to go and do a test again it was still zero sperm for your information it was still zero sperm but yet um, and it, just in case you are suspecting when the child was eventually given birth to he was the replica of the man and he came from zero sperm he still his status is still zero sperm till today I said if you need another one come to my office then we will pray again <laughs> now, there's majesty in the actualization of the voice of God the voice of God breaketh the cedars this is the capacity of the word of God and the voice of God as uh, as in a situation where it is something is standing in opposition to it it, it can shatter the cedars and a good cedar if I got it right it, the base or the what they call that the stem of a good cedar is about 27 meters and the Bible says that the voice of God break at the cedars and just in case you don't know which of them is telling you about the cedars of Lebanon that's where you find the cedars that have about a base of like 27 meters 30 meters 29 meters cedar 
and he said that the voice of God can break. That he's talking about his potency against opposition. It is potency against structures that are built to ensure that it, it, it its capacity is resisted. It it will break even as much as the cedars of Lebanon. If the voice of God happens to be this significant, then it means that every believer must train himself in order for him to function by the voice of God. Second scripture, Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, before I move to the book of Acts of the Apostles. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. And he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. That's my emphasis. Now, you see, the question was, if you are the Son of God, turn these stones, make them bread. But the response and the answer that Jesus gave was not, it was a broader answer. Jesus left the question and began to talk about humankind, the design for humankind, according to ordination. Humankind was not designed to live by bread alone. Humankind was designed to live by the proceeding word of God. The meaning of that is this. You are in error if what you are doing now was not sponsored by the voice of God. Jesus said that the way humankind was designed to live was by the proceeding word of God. I can give you evidence, evidence for this ministry that we started in in the voice of God. I can give you evidence for every major meeting we hold, for contact meeting. I can give you evidence for everything we do in a certain voice, a certain directive that God gave so that everything that we are doing has its authorization in the voice of God. Now, if you begin to do something in ministry, for instance, that has no direct bearing on instruction, but you feel that it worked here, it worked there, and it is likely to work here, and that's the reason why you are doing what you are doing, you have violated the principle uh, that gives authority to your actions. And uh, that's your new style, your new oppression that you have introduced is going to lack the statutory authority when it comes into head-on collision with opposition from the kingdom of darkness. The reason why we are saying that the voice of God should be the principle behind every activity in your life is because it will be challenged. And when it is challenged, the authority behind your actions is what you will invoke to save the day. Now, many people get involved in... so. Okay, like the other day... We, some pastors, including myself, we met somewhere and they were sharing very touching stories. We say, okay, this brother's wife died, so he now married, and then the wife is the new wife is torturing him. This is what the wife has done. They, he labored to, um, to, to get a house in the U.S., and then the woman now, I don't know, I don't know how they did, I don't know the laws of that land, but um, she took advantage of the laws in the city told several lies to the authorities and the house that the man built even before he married her is he has been driven from that house and the woman has been given the house and right now the woman's um, plan is to make sure he's sent back to Nigeria meanwhile he was the one that went came back to Nigeria to marry her and take her there and the moment her mother came to visit that's when this new regime began now, so the, the pastors were saying, oh, these are touching stories. This brother is suffering. I said, stop that. Don't get emotional. The brother that you claim is a brother, did he ask God before he married? If there's no voice behind his life, what are you supporting? If the foundation, be, the, the righteous will be helpless 
if the foundation is destroyed you do the right things do the right things the right way and god's backing will be there for instance just for those of us online i i come from the middle belt in nigeria and i married from the western part of nigeria when i was going to get married people in my family said there's nobody in our family that has married from the west that's your business <laughs> i am going where i'm going by the voice of in fact when we finished the, the marriage I, I came to my people to greet them oh you guys are wonderful and then one of them the elder he now stood up and said ah, if we had known that this is where you were coming would have advised you not to come here now these people that are i want to advise everybody they don't have good homes but they believe that they are adequately suited to provide advices it is more than 10 years now and i've not needed their advice and the last time i checked my home is the most harmonious because the voice of god backs it up i have authority the fact that god said this is where you should go doesn't mean there'll be no problem but when the problem comes because you, you have the voice of god backing you if you call god he will show up because he was part of it the life of man is frail you will need support you will need authority to to be planted there is nothing that can uproot me from where i am the reason why i'm is better to be slow when you're working with god don't be too fast don't take off like a tornado don't be too creative just be obedient a man that is obedient cannot be plucked out cannot be plucked out satan has come to try me twice when i say try i mean he came to kill me twice i've seen satan not not apollyon not abaddon but satan satan the devil and you know it's not everybody and it's not he's recent too it's not something is recent because in the bible you find out that there were only three people that satan fought himself satan challenged jesus satan challenged paul who's the third one satan challenged job you will need to have ascended a certain level for satan himself to be one he came twice for me came twice to take my soul think twice to kill me but he could not because i was standing on authorized ground and one of the things that the devil does in order for him to kill if he wants to kill a preacher he tempts him to trespass to begin to do something that the voice of god does not cover because he doesn't have authority to do that he is cut off man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god get it clearly satan is very terrible satan is bad satan is active satan the witches walked overnight yesterday and your case was mentioned don't ever become careless the reason why we are stuck with the instructions of god we are stuck with the directives of god is because it's only on those grounds that we have authority may the lord help us in jesus mighty name so we we just did that is a recap that um, i just wanted to do to bring us back to speed uh, the next item on our schedule is what we what i titled the holy spirit in the book of acts i i i took time to study the book of acts to find out the substance of that book and i realized that the works of jesus were actually continued by men that were filled with the spirit you see men that were filled with the spirit were such men that continued the works of jesus jesus said the works that i do ye shall do also and greater works than these shall thou do because i go to the father it means my works will not end just because i'm no longer on the stage so you are going to be the actor that will continue my works when i'm gone and there is a potential for you to do much more than i did in scope in depth in 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 capacity there is that potential with you because i go to the father and the spirit of the lord will be bringing new technology of implementing the father's will from within himself 
and it will be possible for you to experience and use higher spiritual technologies to implement the purposes of God as it is suited in your own generation. Jesus was the person that said that. But you see, the works of Jesus continued through men that were filled with the Holy Ghost. Let's do the Bible. Let's do the Bible. John chapter 14 verse 17 quickly. Let's do the Bible. John 14, 17. This is Jesus speaking. Uh, can, you, can you go two verses backwards so that we can follow the progression of Revelation? If ye love me, keep my commandments. Yes? And I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. That's the first scripture. There is an economy within and it is a spirit-based economy. The operating system of the Christian life is the deposit of the measure of the spirit that was released to um, tabernacle your human spirit. That is a branch of the office of the Christ and that is the command tower from whence God's authority and God's power will flow from in your life second scripture is first uh, Corinthians chapter 3 before I want you to understand the context before we begin uh, to advance in the book of Acts and then you will see how the works of Jesus were continued Mm. Oh, I think it's Second Corinthians. Let me let me go for you. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Chapter three, verse seventeen. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse seventeen. He said, "Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the." Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. My emphasis is now the Lord, the Lord Jesus that you used to know, has become that spirit. All right. So I'm saying that in the New Testament, the Lord, who has become that spirit, is the one that possesses people to continue His works. So every time you find that statement, there is a statement I'd like you to see. Any time you find that statement in the Book of Acts, and they were filled and did this. It means they were possessed. They were totally taken over by the Spirit. And that action was not an action they chose to do. The resulting action was not an action that they chose to do. It was an action that came from what filled them. So if we use this mode of investigation, we can actually investigate the things that the Spirit did through men that were filled with the Holy Ghost because the works of Jesus were continued by men that were filled. Is that clear? Now, so in order for us to know what we call the works of the Spirit, the works of the Spirit, those are the works of the Spirit can be gotten through the lives of men that were what? Filled with the Holy Ghost. So we are going to use that as the means of investigating uh, the adventure the civilization, the culture that was among these people of God in the book of Acts, unto whom the Spirit of God had visited, it left a culture, a culture that we must study, we must understand, because that culture is intended to continue in our time. All right. For instance, uh, let's do. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4. This is the first time you'll find the word filled with the Spirit. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. The first field is, the first field is locational locational it means that the holy spirit can fill your room fill your 
bedroom, fill your bathroom, fill your car, fill, do you understand? The, the place where they were sitting was filled uh, 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 and they appeared unto them cloven tongues like a fire and he sat on each of them okay and they were all filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance the first visible manifestation of spirit filled people was in utterance was in utterance so in spirit culture wow you're not with me in spirit culture utterance is the first expression of spirit culture and they were filled with the holy spirit and speak in other tongue as the spirit gave them utterance what is utterance Yes? Somebody help me. Chief, what is utterance? Chief Doom. Utterance. Utterance. It is, is, is it just the ability to talk? Inspired speaking. I'm trying to tell you that before you they speaking, there is an understanding of what you are saying. There were several things that Paul encountered in the wilderness of Arabia that he didn't have utterance to say for 14 years for 17 years he knew the thing but he could not communicate it because there was no utterance he had sorry he had experienced it but he could not communicate it but because there was no utterance you see utterance first of all impregnates your mind utterance generates a set of understanding there's uh, uh, that experience okay okay let me explain let me ask you. Yesterday night, I, I slept and I dreamt. And I saw a spirit, a spirit came. And the spirit pointed me in the dream and said, You have cancer. <laughs> Just stay with me, stay with me. <laughs> pointed me and said, So I woke up. And I pressed in the spirit to, to, to see if I was under attack. I pressed round. And I was not under attack. I said, what is this? I went back to sleep. When I woke up, I was pondering on what that meant. Until women now gathered in my house today. My wife said there was a women meeting. So they gathered in my house. And then I was walking in my study. Then she came and said, they have finished the meeting. It's time for me to come and bless them. It's all right. And then came. And uh, a song came into my spirit. All right. So I began to sing the song. The, you are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh Lord. So as I began to sing that song, and then suddenly the spirit of wisdom began to explain my dream. He said that being that spirit i saw it was not me he was talking to i said okay is your people hmm? my people okay um some of your people here have been experiencing pain on their breasts and that spirit has been ministering to them that they have cancer so what i gave you was a snapshot of the activity of the spirit you are not with me now, you see, before this understanding came, there was no utterance. Utterance is first an understanding before it is spirit energized communication. That's the two aspects of utterance. When the Holy Ghost explained what the encounter was about, and I understood it, that's the first. Utterance will generate an understanding before it gives you spirit energized communication exactly like that tongues the tongues that you speak huh? when you you are you were given the tongue first before you could speak it you understand what i'm talking about up trans was given to you were given the tongue before you could speak it you know if you want to communicate in a doma you know what you want to say before you speak right 
and like me i know my lawyer my local dialect i know what to say but i don't have the grace to communicate it effectively so i i use skills to to communicate all right the utterance when it began to form it gave me an understanding of what that dream was so when the understanding now came so i now took that song again for the second time and then it began to expand the insight began to expand it began to expand stronger then i understood that okay god wanted me to stop the operation of that spirit so in that meeting during my own time of prayer what i did was to stop the operation of that spirit and because god showed me i have 100 percent guarantee that all those ladies that responded to that call are free from anything that it was it was pain they felt but that spirit lying spirit had wanted to puncture their faith so that they can the pain will transit to cancer Do you understand what i'm talking about all right so and all of these things came in puzzles until understanding was given and it is with that understanding that the spirit energized communication hallelujah so the first thing that we see in the culture of the spirit that was given was utterance. that means that in the holy ghost there is utterance in the holy ghost there is utterance if you pray long enough you will find utterance understanding will come to you what to say will be given to you and how to say it will also be established and we see a backing for that in um matthew chapter 10 verse 19 and 20. give us that scripture quickly matthew chapter 10 verse 19 and 20 and when they deliver you up take no thought how or what so there are two things there how to say what to say it is captured in utterance those are the two aspects of utterance the how to say it is spirit energized communication the what to say is the understanding of the thing that god wants you to communicate so there are two sides of utterance how to say or what to say when how or what ye shall say speak for it shall be given in the same hour what ye shall speak so utterance is released that's the first thing as we kindle the flame this evening one of the things that we are doing today is a memorial day because the things that happened in the book of acts of the apostle through men that were filled with the spirit of god will happen with us today as a proof that that culture that god is still doing the works of jesus through men that are filled with what with the holy ghost their spirit energized communication inspired speaking yesterday when i came here i had no intention to lead that prayer that i led as i just i don't know the thing the presence was around the pulpit as i entered into it it seized me and then we gave those utterances yesterday i have no doubt i have no doubt about the potency of the words that were released in terms of his capacity to heal the territory i have no doubt because it was utterance yes use that microphone use that microphone yeah. like my saver he came in today with heavy body okay if truly the righteous is on the throne the people should rejoice of course for the first time ever maybe in the history of nigeria i don't know before ben that a governor is conducting election and only one political party is involved as we speak to the election, governorship election is conducted in Benin State. Local government. Local government is going on. Okay. There is only PDP that is involved. All the other parties say there is no point to waste money. There is no point <laughs> to waste time. For the first time, only PDP that is involved in the election. All the other parties, 72 political parties, they say no. There is no point. Even if we go into it, is 
a futile exercise and we end up wasting money. And the man is not ashamed that such a thing is happening in the state. So when we were praying, that prayer brought healing to many of us. Hallelujah. And it's as if there is hope. Otherwise, it's a shameful thing. Yes, so so it was spontaneous. We didn't know these details when God moved us to do that. As long as men can still be filled with the Holy Spirit, God will still have supernaturally granted utterance given to them to speak his counsel. That's the first manifestation of uh, um, the Spirit that was revealed through the lives of men that were filled in the Spirit. Then uh, in Acts chapter 6 verse 8 we see another expression. Acts 6 8. Quickly. Acts 6 8. Acts chapter 6 verse 8. Please help me technical man. I have just a few minutes to go because I'm and, and Stephen full of faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people. Stephen full of faith and power. He did great wonders. You see, wonders and miracles are not new because Jesus did a lot of wonders and miracles and the legacy of wonders and miracles did not end with Jesus. It continued with the apostles. Only such men as were filled with the Spirit. Now, so the question is, if we are filled with the Spirit, we should also be able to show forth these signs, wonders. Those things should be natural things that will happen in our midst because men that are filled with the Holy Ghost are still on ground. Hallelujah. All right, when you move further, you are going to see what Paul did in the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 9. Paul pronounced judgment by the Holy Ghost. Yes, Acts 39. And Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost and set his eyes on him. Yes, next verse. And said, O, o fool of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. These dimensions are not too common. The spirit of judgment see somebody blaspheming and you say okay from from today you'll be blind and when darkness falls upon him many more people will repent when they see those kind of works hallelujah oh you are you are afraid i say hallelujah <laughs> amen I, I remember i was teaching here i was teaching and then a lady came uh, i don't know where they brought her from and I saw that she was doing witchcraft projections to resist me on the pulpit. I said, oh my God. So I went to her, because I'm a gentleman. And I said, if you repent, I will cast out the spirit from you and you'll be free. She now said, repent from what? I said, you'll be mad. You'll be mad in 27 days. And uh, she became mad in three days' time. Uh, you see, the, don't go to the street and curse people because uh, that's what you are hearing i know you, normally when i preach you there's a way you hear it all right so that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is the spirit of judgment came upon me to address the situation but i i wanted to give her the choice to decline but she refused to decline so it means she was worthy of that judgment and i affected it affected that judgment now it's not as if i take pride in that but it was the Holy Spirit that led me to judge that thing. It was not me. The Holy Ghost rose up inside of me. And just like I said, if you do something to me directly, if it's me, you insult me, you curse me, I'm nothing. Jesus, my master, was made of no reputation in order for him to satisfy the claims of divine justice. So if it is me you are fighting, there's no problem. You will go scot-free. 
I have nothing nothing to lose if I if I lose the fight I will lose gallantly eh? to the glory of God because I the, uh, who am I but when you come and you now say um, this is your God you will die and me I will kill you with not just one utterance you will know if I'm a man of God yes I don't want to tell you terrible stories all right i don't want to tell you a lot of things have happened that if you see this my hand go up like this it means it's a bad day it's time for judgment the holy ghost i'm, I'm trying to say the holy ghost in you stirs human beings to judge others it can stir you to judge a witchcraft witchcraft cover i went to ghana to preach i think it was a minister's conference and uh, during the minister's conference, I made a decree that false prophets will be exposed and many of them will die. It is me that decreed because the spirit of judgment rose up. And then I didn't even, I've forgotten that I said that statement. But people that were in the conference, they heard it and they wrote it down. I think yesterday, uh, some people now sent me a message. I said, that thing you said, that thing. It's happening, you know. And they gave me some evidences of the manifestation of that. The Spirit of God can provoke a man to administer judgment. Are you, are you still with me? Uh -huh. Now, these things, I am reading it because we are going to do all of them today. All these ones will happen today. All these things will happen today. Hallelujah. And then, what again happened? In the book of Acts chapter 8 verse 29 Philip Then the spirit said unto Philip He was filled with the Holy Ghost And the spirit said unto him Go near And join this chariot You see It means the spirit gave him directives Gave him directives he gave him directives. Hmm. Listen. We went to a bridge somewhere, and when we got there, it's in a village. We were told that the father of a certain house, the father of a certain house, all right, the guy was sick, close to death. And we were told in confidence that somebody buried a ram alive so that the man would die. When we began to pray about this situation, what God said was that, I know you say I'm crazy, but it's God that said it. He said we should take a bowl of water. We took. He said we should put salt in it, which represents healing. And then we should sprinkle it around the compound so we sprinkled 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 and the place where the ram was buried we, we didn't know when they had sprinkled the moment the thing touched that place that man stood up meanwhile the guy see his tongue was there was blood on his tongue the tongue was disintegrating you know that the thing changed back to normal in an instant not that it, it, it took a process of recovery no the man rose up and the tongue that was bleeding he ceased and there was no trace of bleeding on the tongue again it was a directive there is so much power that is in a directive hallelujah oh we were going to one place and my mentor said he asked them he said because when we came, we entered into the house. He stood by the door and said, Where is the door? Is there any door here? <laughs> How did you enter here? There's no door. All of us now came out and stood behind him. And he called the people that invited him to come. Come here. All of you, come here. All of you inside, come. Come outside. That's how. If he starts that thing, his problem. He has started his problem again. He said, there's no door here. They said, okay, what is this? 
He said, okay, let me tell you. Bring an axe. And they started digging at the foot of the entrance. And a life, a goat, obviously the goat had died, was buried there. He said the signal that was coming from the foot of the door suggested that there was no... When, when we saw that, it was after they removed that thing, he prayed on it, this sound did that he was able to. He, those days, Holy Ghost men were strange people because of directives. We are too normal. We are too normal. We are too normal. And part of what I'm trusting God for during the course of this lecture is that we'll become strange men like that again. Oh, strange. The man said there's no door. I say, oh God, see, this thing is embarrassing. He <laughs> said, say, shut up, there's no door there. It was when we entered into the matter that I saw that there were strange things there. So I said, okay, what of us that crossed and entered? He said, you did it in ignorance, so there's nothing, there's nothing. <laughs> We saw men that knew God. We saw men that knew God. I was on a bike with this man and we got lost in the forest. He dropped the bike and he spoke in tongues. And he walked round and spoke and spoke in tongues. Spoke in tongues. We got lost. He spoke in tongues and through the gift of word of knowledge, the Holy Spirit will say, Go left, go right, go right, turn, follow here. Go. Till we got to the place we we're going. And when we were coming back, it was by word of knowledge that we were able to come back. All he said was, bring a bike. Bring a bike. They say, do you know the road? He said, bring a bike. And he was on that bike, navigating. He said, and he was talking loud so that we learn. He said, the Spirit of God said, we should go left. He said, we should go left again. That was how we came to the house of the person that we were looking for that was sick. And when we got to that place, he didn't even enter the room. He called the sick man. The man answered. That voice that he called him, that the man answered, the sickness left him. <laughs> he didn't enter the house. He just called. And when the sick man heard his voice, there are dimensions of spirit culture that must be restored. People will fear God when one prophet, one man that is articulating the spirit rises. People will fear God. Imagine Philip that did not use any means of transport. Eh? He arrived at Azotus without transport. How, there are some things you will see. An atheist will give his life to Christ without a message. And what I learned from the book of Acts is that if we know God, our generation will be know that we know God. The man came to the house, a mud house, and he stood afar off and called the name of the sick man from outside. The moment the man heard his name and answered, eh! The, the sickness broke. This is a man that was bedridden for how long? I've forgotten that domain name. One local domain name like that. And he screamed that name. When the man said, eh! He came out of the house. He came lean, dry. Ah, and the wife started crying. The wife started rolling on the ground. And when the man came out of the house, there was no need to greet again. He entered the bike and I followed him. If you don't follow, he will leave you there. So, <laughs> I followed him. Those were the men I saw and I said I was not going to be an ordinary man. I kosima kate kumpre emando kosama ili kapaso. This man, you know, I told you, hmm, he slept and woke up. When he woke up, 
he looked at me and he told me my future do you know that all those things that man said he did not pray it's not as if he did all night too. he slept very well slept no then woke up <laughs> this is what is going to happen to me jesus christ all those things happen he can wake up he can wake up and know tomorrow you know all these political posters that people print he he can come and and see your post and say oh no this person lost this one lost this one lost he lost <laughs> this one lost he lost the election if we know god our generation we know if we are playing church and using english language to cover our deficiencies our generation we know it's, christianity is not rhetoric the works of jesus were continued by men that were filled with the spirit today i'm filled today anytime you are filled you continue the works of jesus we came one day to pray so this man took a seat and he sat down what was the prayer point what were we praying for i forgot it and then we started the prayer point and i began to speak in tongues the man stopped the, the prayer he said the prayer is answered the prayer we just <laughs> we just started it. the whole prayer is us and then when we now doubted him he now said okay because we doubted him by six o'clock god will show the sign i know that one god didn't tell him he invoked his stature and by six o'clock They were, I'm, I'm telling you in those villages in those villages there they are people that will be willing to lie down for that man to march on them his walls I saw that they did not fall to the ground the greatest pressure I had was when he was supposed to go to that village that he had he had shined so much and he could not go in and say you go go there and preach for me I almost died <laughs> I almost died and they were filled with the Holy Ghost they were filled they were filled he went to preach and came back late in the night and when he got back home he came back around 11 in the night then entered into his room he was single then entered into his room by 12 30 the neighbors came and started knocking his door what was it he opened the door what's the problem the neighbor said that their last daughter who was three years old was dead and he likes our lenses he just came out spoke tongues spoke tongue you know his, his own tongue doesn't go more than that that's all god has spoken and he went to the dead corpse and he slapped her on the chest Quap! and Muko came out of her nose and she came came back to life by 12 midnight 12 30 midnight and the, those those things were not on tape today people we go and get an audience look for a crook to come and enter into a, a, a casket shame on the devil there's no need for that if we have the reality the works of jesus are continued through the lives of men that are what filled with the spirit we are going to pray for a moment just for 15 minutes just for 15 minutes now i, I what i came to do today is um hallelujah you know that man inspired me until i began to do what the man did i did not rest until I began to do what the man did. 
and the only one I could I did not do which God I began to pray that God will create the opportunity for me to do that one was to raise a, a, the dead for the first time in my life we were in Benue links went to Zaria and was, we were using Benue links to come back those were the days where the Marco Polo was still functional and the, the woman by my side her baby died I said oh I've been looking for and I was praying in tongues for half of the journey and I asked Jesus I said why will somebody die by my side and he said she will live again <coughs> that was how that lady came back to life they were already they put her upside down they shook her no life no life they, she was like a commodity and when the Holy Spirit said she will live again that was the strength I had to release prayer and life came to a dead body from that day I, I knew there was nothing left to fear that if life could be restored to a de dead body I didn't need to preach in that bus in that bus there was no need to preach hallelujah that work was what a strong work that could be a testimony of itself can we pray today and say God our generation is in need of men that can function by you men that can function by your inspiration that each and every one of us here today and those listening to me online that the works of jesus will continue with these verses that the works of jesus men need to see the glory that is in the holy ghost men need to see the power that is in the holy ghost and lord we ask that you endure us afresh can we pray can we pray can we pray can we pray I, I, I pray that you pray today I pray that you pray I pray that you pray I pray that you pray today Anyone that can hear the voice of God is a powerful man. It's a powerful man. It's a powerful man. It's a powerful man. Asasai la kabresko vasama. Bresko pelanto kopatu alate maske. That legacy of power, that legacy of the miraculous, that legacy of signs of wonders, that legacy must not die in our generation. There must be men among us that can quicken them that are dead from the dead. There must be men among us that will receive power to do miracles, to do signs and wonders, to heal lands and nations. There must be men among us that will be graced by God to live a life that is totally beyond the natural. Oh my God. Labodo si mama mama mama. Labodo si mama ketaba. The legacy of the supernatural must not die with us. Our ancestors in the faith in this land were power evangelists. People that challenge darkness, challenge wickedness. The spread of the gospel was at the instance of men of power, men of science. And he being filled 
with the spirit speak oh my there were men that were directed by the spirit some speak by the spirit some did mighty miracles by the spirit some were taken from one location to another location by the spirit the works of Jesus continue through the lives of men that are filled 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 with the Holy Ghost we want to go deeper oh god grant us access that we will go deeper 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 such that when you become filled with the holy ghost it means that a dead man can rise it means that a crippled man can walk it means that wisdom will come it means that the supernatural will become natural those are the kind of people that can bring the witness of the kingdom of god to the nations of this world a different capacity comes when we are filled a different level and layer of perception comes when we are filled a different basis of response is opened just because we are filled we are filled. We are filled. We are filled. We are filled with the spirit. Hallelujah. Ina nena mosali a he Mali a so se se le ke da male Mali a sa ela mo boru sa ke da mo Mali a si kamata ela ma mo le Jesus Jesus Oh 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 Ah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. All right. Now, the Holy Spirit wants to do something here. First of all, He will fill people with the Spirit. The Spirit will fill them. He will fill them. For those of you online, all you need to do is just you lift your right hand or you touch the screen or I don't know because God is going to release his spirit right now he will release his spirit right now and um, the, this anointing will spread all over the world today to spread all over the world father in the name of Jesus 
oh my god we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you we love you and we ask oh god that you might stretch forth your hand that you might stretch forth your hand this evening up, up over hungry people over desperate people over people that need a touch from you over people that are desperate for a touch from you i ask that you stretch forth your hand and i ask that you release your anointing upon every hungry life release your anointing all right there are 21 people that i see 21 people there's a fire of the holy spirit that is burning on 21 people it's burning so intense on 21 people 21 people they, they, there's a fire that is burning on 21 people so intense receive that anointing in the name of jesus all right the lord wants to do The Lord wants to, there are 21 of them. There's fire, it's burning, it's burning. And some yokes are being broken. Some yokes are being broken. Some yokes are being broken. Now listen to me, I see in the spirit, and I see somebody with goiter, goiter. There's somebody I see with goiter. Can you put your hand on that goiter now, now because it's about to disappear. There's somebody I see with goiter on your throat, goiter, and you are watching put that hand on the goiter now father i command that goiter to begin to disappear to begin to disappear to begin to disappear to begin to disappear goiter go abresco velame isamai toko breske velete skibonta muna abreske voseli mokoria branteli okay now they are dreamers that's what god calls them dreamers there are seven of them you will feel a fire on you it's because god is opening up the the, the, the chamber of your perception you will see vivid dreams sharp dreams visible dreams that will come to you some will be born in the hand of angels and it will be delivered unto you there are seven such people that god has decided to visit and the hand of god will come like a fire that's a sign that you are the one i'm talking about it will be like a fire it will be like a fire like a fire like a fire like a fire oh sicknesses are beginning to be healed already sicknesses are beginning to be healed i i bind every disease i bind every sickness i bind every infirmity and i command the grip of the infirmity to be loosed from your life in the name of jesus oh my god pains are living pains are going demons of pain are living are living are living are living they are living jesus we give you glory jesus we give you glory jesus we give you glory there's a woman with a cane a woman you you walk with a cane you walk with a cane i, I can see you oh woman you walk with a cane now can you throw that cane away and walk in the name of jesus there's a woman walking with a cane if you you have the liberty right now to throw the cane away and walk without the cane the lord heals you the strength comes upon your limbs in the name of jesus the lord heals you and strength descends right now upon you in the name of jesus I Asamuna na pantedi e capres cuve saminatali esca popo saculato kisco presa halapata derisco sabina branta baboli basepria akeboj. Yes, the woman is, is receiving strength on that leg. Be healed on that leg. I bind every paralysis. I bind every paralysis. I command paralysis to go in the name of Jesus. I command paralysis to go in the name of Jesus. There are two people that were just overwhelmed. They were overwhelmed by the Holy Ghost. Overwhelmed. They are on the floor now. 
be on the floor now and the spirit of god is ministering is ministering to them is ministering to them thank you jesus thank you jesus the lord said i should pray for eyes father in the name of jesus if there's anyone that has a challenge with his sight i bind blinding spirits i bind blinding spirits blinding spirits hear me i command you in the name of jesus leave the eyes leave the eyes now in the name of jesus christ i command sight 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 i bind short-sightedness long-sightedness glaucoma cataract astigmatism every strange eye condition i bind you and i command those eyes to receive strength and see in the name of jesus receive strength and see receive strength and see receive strength and see receive strength and see in the name of jesus thank you father thank you lord thank you lord and i pray lord for everyone in the parliament that you will approve an upgrade of grace an upgrade of the anointing let the people that we meet oh 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 let the people that we encounter on the streets let the people that see us know that indeed you are real let our lives become a theater that will advertise your reality in the name of jesus that after this lockdown let territories feel the heat of grace that will come to the vessels of your people in the name of jesus thank you father thank you lord in jesus mighty name i need some few confirmations before i run away parliament people you can sit down you can sit down the supernatural is natural for a man that is filled with the spirit the supernatural is natural the supernatural is natural for a man that is filled a man that is filled if you have a miracle and you are willing to share with us you can send us a chat quickly if you have recovered from the weight of the anointing that knock you off you can tell us of your experience quickly so that we can give glory to god if you feel that your eyes can see better than you used to see before you can let us know if you feel a pain on your body and has departed suddenly you can let us know if 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 there is such you can let us know so apostle mike you take the microphone and get um all the feedback the life a man that is filled with the spirit is a man that continues the works of jesus he continues the works of jesus he continues the works of jesus he continues the works of jesus the lord will be dispatching you to different places with, with his grace with his spirit because he wants his work to continue through your life don't 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 think the supernatural is a, is a big deal it comes when men are filled with the Holy Spirit and they follow the directives of Jesus if you follow the directives of Jesus miracles are a manifestation of obedience to the spirit of god miracles are a manifestation of obedience to the spirit of god yes um media people give us a feedback quickly before i run away from here hallelujah yes while we are waiting for the media people i would like us to take a prayer point and ask that god will give us sensitivity sensitivity in the spirit everything rises and falls with sensitivity everything it rises and it falls with sensitivity it's the holy spirit that is doing it it's not you that is doing it so if you are sensitive to know that the holy spirit wants to do this you will respond giving him the opportunity uh, and the trigger for him to begin to do that which he said he would do can we ask for a heightened mode 
of sensitivity in the spirit a heightened mode a heightened mode of sensitivity a heightened mode of sensitivity there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas oh we give you praise let there be a heightened level of sensitivity a heightened level of sensitivity a heightened level of sensitivity in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Labo seke manzelito kopres kaparata mi Rusha kapata ke bros e baba bonjeli ke presko ve la mata kula sakwa Ambreso ke masiko brelo bokoria Ala baba 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 Okay media bibu give me the ones you have We are pressed for time we are pressed for time We are pressed for time Amen. Yes. What do you have? Oh, you are still compiling. Oh my God. No, we have some already, sir. Okay, go on. You gave a decree that um, the power of God was upon two persons. Emil wept. He said, "Fire came upon me as the man of God gave the word." Emi Achuba is in USA. Okay. Okay. Another person confirmed fire upon him. Atelete Namatarese. Say fire in my body. There is somebody that, that had pains almost all over the body that got healed. I'm waiting for that person. This person had pains almost all over the body. And immediately we started praying, the pains began to disintegrate right now this person doesn't have pain anymore um i want to hear from you quickly i want to hear from you 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 yes somebody is confirming one of the dreamers you spoke about okay that as you give the word the presence of the god presence became of god strong and okay hallelujah we give glory to God. Yes, I'm waiting for the pain issue. The pain issue. I'm also waiting for an eye condition. Because Jesus, two eye conditions there. Two eye. Because Jesus gave a directive that we should pray for eye conditions. And if Jesus should give a directive, it is as good as done. Atatelia again, Namatarisi. Struggling, suffered like coma, but as you gave the word, the eyes cleared immediately. The eyes, okay, the eyes cleared. The eyes cleared. Glory to God. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. There is a woman I saw so clear with a cane. She uses something to walk, maybe because there is a challenge on her left leg or so. Um, I'm expecting your miracle. I'm expecting Happy Jewess. Yes. Healed of eye pain from Ghana. Healed of eye pain from Ghana, Joes. It is permanent in the name of Jesus. There are many testimonies here of heightened sensitivity. Okay. They, they okay. felt the presence of God felt, and began they felt, to. They felt the presence of God. That person that uh, felt that pain, you were relieved of all kinds of pain. You are relieved already. I am waiting for you. You can reach out to us. Somebody's room was filled with bright light. All right. Someone, as you give the word. Someone's room filled with bright light. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you glory. Akinyele Osha. Okay. Pain left the left side of the stomach. Pain left the left side of and the stomach. And the pain has, was there for many months. Pain was but there. as you give the word, the okay. pain left the left side of the stomach. All right. All right. I'm, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for two. two Another questions. Nana Ebenezer. Nana. Pain left the left side of the stomach. All right. Nana, it is permanent in the name of Jesus. It is permanent. You gave a word concerning seven dreamers. Seven and Coyote touched the screen. Instantly, fire, fire left came. the screen to his, to his body. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody was healed of, of pain, neck pain from Italy. Okay, neck pain healed. It is permanent in the name of Jesus. Somebody felt breeze, literal breeze moving on the head. Literal breeze, Taiwo and Mehinola. Yeah, that's an impartation. And the head, the head and hair were shaking. That's an impartation from the spirit. There is no distance in the spirit. That's an impartation. Somebody felt literal vibration on the limbs. Okay, vibration. Another person the pain left from South waiting. Africa. The, 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 eh? Pain left the person from okay, South pain, Africa. Pain left the person. I'm looking for two things that I've not heard. Uh, I've seen them, but I've not heard them. Here. Hallelujah. I've seen them, but I've not heard them there. Oh, glory to your name. Glory to your name. We give you praise. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Being filled with the Spirit. Filled. Fidelis elokum. Okay. With so much abdominal cramps healed. Okay. As you give the word of healing. Ad abdominal cramps healed. Healed. Francisca from Abuja. Okay. Had a bleeding gum. But as you gave the word. Okay, the bleeding stopped. The bleeding stopped. Okay. Okay. Someone healed from paralysis. That's the one I'm waiting for. Finally. Paralysis. That part of your body has received strength. Somebody saw fi the fire of God on her hand. Okay. He said, wonderful grace. And then you mentioned it immediately. And instantly, she was healed of short-sightedness. Okay, you was also mentioned that by word of knowledge. Yeah, she was healed of short-sightedness. Short we give glory to God. We give glory to God. Joshua Bamidele is also testifying that he can now read distant letters. Okay, he can read distant letters. The Lord instructed we should pray for the eyes. Miracles will always happen if we can receive an instruction from Jesus. Human beings don't work miracles. But if Jesus gives an instruction and you respond to it, it will produce a miracle. Alright, we give glory to God. We give thanks to God for all the miracles and the impartations. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus that it will be permanent. That a new walking of your grace will be retained in the lives of these ones that you have touched in Jesus' name. 